Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in statics and we're going to solve this problem 771, okay? It says, draw the shear and moment diagrams for the beam. So we got this beam that is pin connected at A, it has a roller at B, and it has these two 600 Newtons forces going down. So we have solved a couple of problems similar into the challenge, so I'm just going to go ahead and solve this one. We're going to start by doing what? Free body diagram, like always. So let's start by drawing the free body diagram. And I'm going to do two squares per uh, one meter in my drawing. So I will have this amount of line. And then on my corner at A, we'll have AY. We'll have AX. Then one meter away, I will have 600 Newtons going down. 2 meters away from it, I will have 600 Newtons going down. And then at B, I will just have a Y reaction that I'm going to call PY. Okay? All we're missing now are these distances. Okay? So from here to here. Then I have 1 meter. I have 2 meters in between. And then 1 meter again. Okay? So this is my overall free body diagram. And then after this, all we need to just go and find is AY and BY. We don't care about AX because AX is not producing any shear or any moment into this um, beam, okay? So let's just start by doing the summatory of moments around either point A or point B. And the reason about this is that we can cancel out this guy and then we will only have one unknown or in the opposite case which is the one that i'm just going to do we're going to cancel this guy and we will only have this on as unknown okay so let's just start by holding here this force will want to rotate me clockwise so i'll have a negative 600 newtons multiplied by the distance well the distance is one meter then I have another negative 600 Newtons multiplied by the distance. Well, the distance is going to be this amount will give me 3 meters. And last, I'll have a positive because we want to rotate me counterclockwise. By multiplied by the distance. Now the distance is the total of 4 meters. And all this should be equal to 0. So let's solve for By. If we solve for BY, we'll end up having 600 multiplied by 4. Why 600 multiplied by 4? Because we have negative 600 times 1 minus 600 times 3. That will give me 600 multiplied by 4. And then we pass it to the other side. We'll become positive, okay? Then we're going to divide it by 4. And this 4 over here. And then obviously we can cancel this one and this one will end up that by is equal to 600 newtons. Okay. The next thing that we can do is the summatory of forces in the y direction. Assuming going up is positive, what do we have? Well, we have a y minus 600 minus 600 plus b y. But let's put the value of b y, which is 600 should be equal to zero. We can cancel this 600 with this 600, right? And if we solve for AY, we'll find out that AY is also equal to 600 newtons. Now that we know this, we're going to take our free body diagram. So let's take it with the distances from points to points in here. And I'm going to place it in here. I'm going to try to simplify it by with the values that we know. We know AX will be equal to zero and we don't even care about it even if it's not equal to zero. AY is equal to 600 Newtons, BY is equal to 600 Newtons. Okay. So in order to draw our shear and moment diagrams, I like to draw these guidelines and these guidelines are going to help me to draw. So the first Thing that I do is that I always draw the beginning and the end of my beam and then I also do interest points which are these interest points they are like where points where I see loads for example the 600 newtons load and also the 600 newtons load here after I am done with those 
what I can do is that um, I'm going to start drawing the shear and moment diagrams. So let's just start with the shear. Always start with the shear. And then how do we do it? Well, we're going to walk this beam from here all the way to the end, okay? So if we're stepping here, we realize that we have 600 newtons going up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna step in here and then I'm going to go up 600 newtons. So we can assume that this is 600 newtons in here. This is the 600 newtons mark, okay? And then when I keep on walking, then I don't do anything all the way until this point. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to not do that do anything until that point. And then at that point, I can see that I have 600 newtons going down. So if I were at positive 600 minus 600, I'll end up at the zero mark, okay? And then I can keep on walking and I don't do anything until this point. So I'm going to mark, leave my um, constant value of zero. And then I have 600 going down. So I'm going to go down 600. So this is negative 600 newtons in here. And then I walk, 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 walk until this point. So let's do that. I walk, walk, walk until that point. And then I got 600 Newtons going up, okay? So, and then I have this. As I always say, the way of checking if we did this right is that we should start at zero and we should end up at zero, okay? Now, we have a positive area and we have a negative area. And these areas are important for our moment diagram, okay? So, Let's start by drawing our moment diagram. It will look something like this. So we have our moment. So we we know that the moment is the integral of my shear. So since the moment is the integral and we have over here at this first line, we have a line, a constant line. Well, if we were to do an integral about it, we will have a slope. Will it be positive? Will it be negative? Well, it depends. In this case, our constant is positive, so we'll have a positive slope. So I'm going to draw a positive slope. Then, if we pay attention from this point to this point, my constant is zero. If I do the integral of zero, it's zero. So I'm going to do nothing. I'm just going to have um, uh, a constant. If I do the the integral of that, I was going to have a constant, okay? Then after that, the same thing happens in here, have a negative constant. So it's a similar case than this one, but in this case it's negative. So I'm going to have a negative slope, okay? And this should be my moment there. Maybe the interesting points about this beam are like, what are these high values? Like this entire line, what is this high line value? And then we can find this one out by doing the integral of this, um, the, the area of this part, only this part, okay? Which will be 600 newtons multiplied by this distance. And this distance is equal to one meter, okay? So we'll realize that this will be equal to 600 newtons times meter, okay? That's the maximum we can uh, call it the moment max okay if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one